Senna. Pals. New beginnings. I feel so short. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my chair down to match Courtney's height. <laughs> oh so. my gosh, he's never gonna let me live this down. LFG, let's go. I don't know how to trust you. How about I keep showing you how? Don't move, don't move. There's nothing nice here. Oh, right into it. Oh, right. They just got out of the accident, right? I said on your fucking knees! Watch your goddamn mouth! I ain't so gonna. Dan looked real. The disrespect you have shown our family, I know about the new drug. Your lab. It's ours now. Yeah, I said it don't have to go down this way. You think we'd just sit by and watch you make excuse? Nope. Nope. I mean, here you go. Her coat is fly, though. What the fuck is she talking about? The second you walked into Blackgate. How do you explain this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought for a moment you two were... That perhaps you asked him to... Asked him to what? Kill your brother. Oh. Oh! To take his place. But I'm wrong. Oh no. Aren't oh I? no. Wow, so much is being revealed. Wow. Well, they saved all of this. Wow. Oh dang, everything just got undone. That's why she didn't get in the car. Wow. I need a Sophia to get the new drug. All right, for us. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm on your side. Sophia. Well, oh. And he left her? Now it looks really bad. I don't think she was going to believe him. I mean, him. she wasn't, but like, he is the master of all bullshit spinning. Dang. Wow. He was so close. He was. Like, she was about to trust him. I ain't even mad at the fact that they saved all of that. They saved no, that's all awesome. of that. This is awesome. So what do you think cracked? Was it her arm or her skull? Her her head hit the floor. On behalf of the Lucy House, it is oh. my pleasure. To oh, flashback. Sophia Falcon. So she knows he screwed her twice. How I met your mother. <laughs> How I met your gangster. My mother struggled with depression for years. Mm. She never got the help that she needed. When I was nine, she took her own life. Dang. That's why my father and I started this foundation. We wanted to support women and girls with life-saving services. Mm. <sighs> Need a cigarette? Take the edge off. This is the third luncheon this week. I don't want to me. Couldn't take the edge off. Uh. <laughs> How often does he bump into actors while he's doing his scene work? Dang, they were chill before. They were good friends. That's what she kept trying to tell him. I've been following your work with the foundation. It's impressive. Thank you. But if you don't mind me saying, I think you could be doing more. Hmm. A young woman named Yolanda Jones. It's actually been a number of women like Miss Jones over the last decade, and they all died the same way, by hanging. Oh, shit. Mm. That's how your mother died. Oh, shit. Oh, why Whoa. would she just know? I mean, you said there was something that I could do to help. Yolanda Jones worked at the Iceberg Lounge. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Most of these women worked for businesses She's a reporter. owned by your father. What organization did you say you were with? You're right. You're right. I don't talk to press. You're right. Sophia, I don't talk to hey, press. Hey, hey, back off, ladies. I want to talk to you. I like how Colin Farrell played that, by the way. He's got, yeah. a, he's got a different vibe than current yeah. Penguin. But why does that woman, the reporter, expect her to just know about every... Oh, no. Did she find her? Alberto, where are you? <gasps> Holy... Oh, oh, my gosh. no. Oh, no. They're going to do us like Jojo Rabbit. Mom. Oh. Wow. Can you imagine finding your mom like that? That's crazy. How was your luncheon? Good. Mark Strong! I've been waiting for him to show up. I asked you to look into his financial holdings. I'm working on it. Shit. I, uh, I gotta go. You know he's not like you and me. He's soft. That's so interesting because she looks so elegant and soft herself, yeah. but she's the one that's hard. But she, I mean, she's a completely different person, just like Oz. Maybe it's time to break with tradition. When the time comes, I want you to take my place. Ooh. Wow. Got some real Game of Thrones up in here. She is the oldest, though. But the rest of the family, they're not. They know your mind. They'll do as I say. Wow. That's a lot of confidence. That's a lot of responsibility. Uh-oh. What is she thinking about? She's thinking about the women. 
Maybe it's because of the foundation, but I've just been thinking a lot about mom. I thought she was thinking about her mom because mm. they showed us that flashback. Well, yeah, but she's thinking about the oh, mom and... Yeah. I don't remember her being sick or depressed. Yeah, she was good at hiding it. I think her dad is the hangman. Mm. She went down for him. I miss her too, baby, every day. Did she ever see anyone before, like a therapist or a psychiatrist? Mm. Your mother was a proud woman. Stubborn. He's scary. Mm -hmm. She refused my help as much as I tried. God knows I tried. I mean, it takes a, a bold man to wear sunglasses at the dinner table. <laughs> He's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this now? Picking away at old wounds. You know how it upsets me. Oh, boy. Right after he said he was going to give you the family. I, I, I didn't mean to. Is he going to smile? Maybe I made a mistake. You still haven't told me what you want for your birthday. Nice pivot. I'm sure I love it, whatever you give me. Dang. Wow. Nice scene work. I love Mark that Strong. Was, I love Mark Strong so much. I, I've, I've been a fan of his for years. The girls at the 44 below, has that ever had... Relationships with them? Uh, she's too smart. There is something, but... Oh, he knows. <gasps> Can't he kill me? He knows. He does! Pops, Masad, and the girls at the club are trained female assassins. Shut up! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he had me for a second. Right? I was on the fishing line. Whatever you're thinking, don't. What Pop does at work, he does at work. We got a good life, right? But I think Oz knows. It's a little too wow. smart. Well, this is explaining a lot. Coroner reports are consistent. They all died from asphyxia. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The official cause of death is suicide by hanging. Like, put yourself in her shoes. Imagine you find out that your dad is up to this. I want to know how she got there. Like, how did she leap to it being her dad? You can see these women, they fought back. Biting, scratching. Why are you too? telling me this? Yeah. Like, why come to her? I need access to the girls working at the club. Not the Iceberg Lounge, the 44 below where Yolanda Jones actually worked. Mm. If you wore a wire... To my father's club. Whoa! Holy Are you serious? Crap. Women who are new in town, who don't have family or friends close by. The type whose death or disappearance doesn't make the news. Uh-oh. We need to protect... What is she seeing? Something that she saw in her mom's hand. Ooh. What is that? Defensive wounds. Oh. oh no, no, no. Don't look. Oh, his hands. It's definitely him. Oh, yeah. Oh, he had a, he had a scratch on his hand. This is all you have? Some old reports and conspiracy theories? Just ridiculous. Oh, dang, she's covering it up. Sophia, please. You don't just know shit about my father. He is a good man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She didn't mention your father. You try publishing any of this garbage, my family will destroy you. Do you understand? But why did I set her up? I don't know yet, but I'm loving the scene work in this so far. She, it's all so well done. I need her to get nominated for like everything. Look, Sophia, me and the reporter, you know, people are gonna start to get ideas. You know, your father might not oh, like- stop. You. Stop talking. I don't need your advice. <laughs> no one does. You are my driver. That is oh. all you are. So stop talking and drive. Whoa. Wow. Put him in his place. Dang. That's the turn. Because he thought she was different. He thought they had a, a rapport. Yeah. A friendship. It's so fair. Baz, what are you doing inside? Oh. Is that in the jacket? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did, did she invite us? Thank you. Uh, your father wants to see you. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's, he got a new jacket on. He turned. Oh, so it was him that talked to... The, oh, my gosh. She knows. Yep. This is tricky. Maybe he was looking out for himself. Yeah, of course he was. Like, but so, I think he wanted to move up. What would happen if he found out and Oswald didn't talk? Why didn't you tell me you met with a reporter? You never, ever talk to the press. Oz doesn't know what he's talking about. Some woman approached me, but I told her to f off. That's it. Uh huh. Is that right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He's not buying it. No, because you met her at night. I spoke to Kenzie. Summer Gleason has been working with the police. Ooh. 
Who was that? There's an open investigation. They're looking into me for murder. That's the reporter. Oh, is she going to take the fall for all of that? That's what I said. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Why didn't you come to me? I should have. You're right. That's why she was very specific, and she's like, I'm not the hangman. Do you think I did these things? No, of course not. You were supposed to be better than this. And he is willing to throw anybody under the bus. How could you do this to me? I've never doubted you. I love you. And I know, I know that there is an explanation. An explanation? You can't explain that. You had scratches on, on your hands. The day mom died. Uh -oh. Oh, that's, yep, yep. He... Sophia! I know they weren't from her. You know, I, I know that. I, I, um. Oh, God. Oh, no. Now she's a liability. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. The hope. All gone. My sweet Sophia. Oh, man. What has happened to you? <gasps> Shit. Wow. You're clearly not yourself. This is the moment. Oh. You're confused. Uh, sick. <gasps> I think you need to leave before you make a scene. He turned her in. Yeah, yeah, to protect himself. Please, please. I'll just drive you home. Now. I'm so happy he's in this show. His performance is so awesome. He's so scary. He's calm and measured. There's just, like, just I bet enough. the police are waiting for her. My father sees you now. You and everyone you love is on his radar. Yep, there's the police. They knew exactly where to go. I know what's gonna happen, but it's still uncomfortable, you know? Miss Falcon, step outside, step out of the car. Oh my God. She doesn't even see it coming. No. Get off me. You're under arrest Wait. for the murder of some of these. Oh. Wow. The reporter? Woo! Whoa. I knew she was gonna die. No, 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 get out of here with that. No, I didn't kill anyone. I, you gotta do something. Hey, oh. let her go. I don't think he knew. You don't think Oswald knew? I think he turned her in, but I don't think he ever thought that Falcone was going to turn his daughter in. The court has ordered a psychological evaluation. A number of family members have written affidavits suggesting <gasps> the same. Oh! Your cousins Johnny and Carla Vitti. They're using my mother's right as a... I have a compulsion for killing animals. Are you f***ing serious? Whoa. Wow. I do an evaluation and I, um... Answer a few questions to prove I'm sane, right? And that's it. Well, how do you know you gotta... No, you gotta plead. You're being remanded to Arkham State Hospital for observation. <sighs> no, <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. You'll be under their care till the start of trial. That'll change you. Wow. Man. Wow. Can't you stop this? You're my, you're my f***ing lawyer. I'm yeah, sorry. but she works for your dad. She made that deal because that's what daddy wanted. Yeah, you can't trust her. I'm gonna die in there. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, man. Uh oh. You can handle six months. <laughs> and then you're gonna get a trial and you're gonna get out. You are, goddammit, it, promise it's time. Me. Wow. Because her dad totally could have gotten her out if he wanted to. Man, I feel for her. Wow. Cause she is not that girl. Yeah. She's gotta find her inner uh Carmine. Isn't that the dad's name? Falcone? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. This feels very inspired by Requiem for a Dream somehow. The vibe of it. Just like the music and everything. Oh, yeah. It's so intense. Damn! They are brutal! This is my associate, Dr. Julian Rush. He'll be conducting the psychological Everybody evaluation. Sucks. Everybody. While you're here, you'll be under... And he's a creeper. Julian Rush. No visitors, no outside contact. Wait, what? It's important for us to observe you without interference. I know that people say that all the time, but it is true, all right? I am innocent! If you weren't crazy before, this will make you crazy. Absolutely. Shit. Joey? Oh, that creeper. He's always the bad guy. Get some rest. How are you supposed to rest? There's a bed there. Shut up. <laughs> I started the day in Gucci. <laughs> I mean, look at her nails. Like, how should, who's going to come take those gels off? <laughs> oh, shit. Is somebody in there? No, she doesn't have a cellmate. Who the hell's that? What the hell? Is this a special appearance? Is this Harley Quinn? <laughs> I saw you on the TV. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. shit. Ooh, don't look at me. My name is Magpie. Oh. My stepmom used to call me Margaret, and I told her not to, and she didn't sing. <laughs> um... I'm getting out in six months. Isn't that exciting? 
king. Oh, I bet there'll be lots of paparazzi at your trial. No one even wrote about mine. Yeah, so, like, stop, stop entertaining her. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing. Wow. I'm trying to cover my ears, too. Ugh. Oh, God. Don't, don't, don't sit with her. I, she, I mean, she doesn't know anybody. She's got to find friends somehow, I guess. Oh, man. What is that? Maybe it's a date to you? It's like an Ativan in your mouth. <laughs> wow, do you see that? The colors? It's all so shine. Hey, uh, she's not, she's, she's, she's not chained. Uh-oh. You killed those girls. Oh, shit. Girls. Oh, my God. This person is... Oh, no. Super, super creepy. So they're trying to get her. She's going to have to do something violent in order to stay alive. Mm -hmm. She's lying, lying. And that's how she ends up stuck there. Well, we know he's in control. She clearly runs the joint. Oh. Damn. <coughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Shit. How are you feeling? <laughs> How do you think I'm feeling? <laughs> an incident in the mess hall today. A woman beat the shit out of me while everyone stood around and watched. So yeah, I had an incident. Mm. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. Why was she unchained? I don't know. Yeah, you do. They're looking into it. Uh-huh. Oh, you probably unchained her. Did someone release her? Is that what you believe? The attack in there was coordinated? Oh. Oh, he's gaslighting her. I know what you're doing. Dang. Well, don't tell him. Twisting my words around to make me sound paranoid. But you weren't there. Someone had to have set her free. Well, nothing she says can be valid in the eyes of a crazy doctor. The death of a parent is a traumatic event. And it's not unusual to transfer that grief into anger. What? Mm. Come on. I am here because my father wants to keep me quiet. Jesus. So you're saying that your father framed you for murder? I'm not saying anything. You don't believe me. I didn't say that. I can tell. This is torture. Mm. I'm here to help you, Sophia. Mm. Are you? I have no other agenda than that. You see how, like, she's clear and he's blurry a little bit? His view is distorted and she yeah. is crystal clear mm -hmm. in her truth. Oh no, she's supposed to fight somebody? What is oh, this fight club? This is sick. Come here so I can eat your mouth, 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 mouth. What? Come on. Don't do it. it. Don't do try it. Try it. Try it. This is crazy. Don't do it. Why don't you know that this is rigged? Well, they'll have a story now. This is my father here. You're, you're, you're working for him. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, so oh, either oh, oh. either you're gonna get killed or you're gonna have to kill. Don't. End it. Please. End it. She said, please. End it. End it. Ooh! Her fingerprints are on the fork. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. I was glad they didn't show us all that. I didn't need to see it. That was crazy. This isn't a punishment. You're agitated. Confused. This will help you feel like yourself. Open wide. No. Oh man, this is definitely some requiem shit. Woo oh jeez. I don't think they do that anymore. Do they do that anymore? In Gotham, apparently they do. This has me feeling so much empathy for her. Like I'm really rooting for her to take down Penguin now. Unfortunately. <laughs> you right? <laughs> exactly. Like, he he has earned whatever is coming for him. Huh? Oh. What the hell? I'm just trying to make her crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so for the six months. I didn't kill anyone. What if she's telling the truth? Oh. Careful, doctor. Oh, that's an interesting reveal. Oh, shit. Damn. Is this supposed to be like her apartment at home? Oh, that's what the wall, she was tearing the walls down. It was, okay, I gotcha. It's bringing her back to that event. Mm. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oof, oof. You've got a visitor. I thought you said I couldn't have visitors. 
It's her brother, right? Yeah. He's the only one that had her back. It's either that or her dad. Oh yeah, her brother. That's what she said, her brother's the only one who came to see her. You're not going to court. No one's gonna hear your case. Your, your doctor, he's claiming you're unfit to stand trial. <gasps> he, he, he wouldn't do that. It was the head of Arkham, uh, some guy named Ventress. He what? wrote the report and the judge agreed. It's done. Oh, you know who's gonna man. die now. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't a serial killer before. She's about to become one. I did my six months. I deserve a trial. Mm. I have rights. This, this is my life. We'll file an appeal. Or try for a new evaluation. You are naive. It's not gonna work, man. Sophia. Sophia! You know, I saw none of this coming in the lead up to watching this show. No, I mean, you know? I figured they'd tell us why they were calling her the hangman, but I didn't expect to see this. I didn't know Ventress was gonna write the report. I tried to stop him. I'm sorry. Well, you're not that sorry. It's like at this point, <laughs> you may as well give in and be that character who's a mass yep. murderer. Garden. There aren't any plants, though. It's more of a yard, really. I always look for birds, but I can never see any. Don't kill Magpie. Don't kill Magpie. I know. Don't kill her. You don't have to lie to Dr. V anymore. You can tell him the truth. He'll give it to you now. <laughs> Are you working for him? Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. Have you been spotting on me? No. Is that why he's giving you drugs? Oh no, Magpie's gonna die. Get information out of me. Don't be silly, I'm your friend! Uh-oh. You are so not my friend. Mine's in February. Oh, She's no. about to get a traitor face. Oh, <laughs> damn. I told you, I told you! Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Magpie going down, Magpie dead. Mm, Magpie is getting murdered. Oh, shit. Doctor's watching, confirmed. You are crazy. You get to stay in here. Oh, oh, damn, Gina. I mean. Oh. Well, now you get the good shit. Nice shot. Wow. I didn't mean the shot shot. I mean, like, I know the shot, the shot yeah, of yeah. her falling. I know what you mean. He's more clear now. Thank God you're okay. Do we trust him? The doctor, yeah. I, at this point, I would say you, maybe, yeah. Her circumstance would anybody. Her circumstance would definitely make me a very paranoid individual. Oh, yeah. I trusted him. When everything in my body told me not to. Sophia, you've only been on Arkham a few weeks. You deserve a fresh start, an opportunity to heal. Come on now. What do you want? To help you. But why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to pretend with me. You miss how it was at Arkham, don't you? When he was in control. You've had a long night. Miss what? The control that you had. Hmm. There you go. Rehabilitating me. I helped Alberto get you out. What did he rehabilitate? I haven't forgotten the way you looked at me. So curious. Oh, is he about to get murdered? He looks scared. He should be scared. <laughs> For 10 years, men have lied to me. 10 years? And then I come home, and it's all the same. They think I'm broken. Oh boy. I'm not broken. Oh, where is this going? I'm not the one who's sick. And neither are you. I thought she was oh, about to shank she's him. She's gonna kiss him? I so thought she was gonna shank his ass. I okay. was like, he did. <laughs> You're right. I deserve a fresh start. What just happened? <laughs> uh, I, maybe she had oh, a... yes, queen. I'm ready for this. <clears throat> your question is, where's Oswald? All of you turned her in. All of you lied in your affidavits. But Vidi should be scared. They all should be scared. What the hell are you doing? Supporting Uncle Luca. Same as you. You're past the meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Tensions are high, and I wish we was gathered under different circumstances. But our family has weathered storms before, and it has only made us stronger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are each other's sanctuary, finding solace in celebration. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with her. My brother. He can't say anything, say, no. The true strength. Because he still knows, she still knows he's sleeping with the man's wife. You see how full that glass is? I did want to say a few words. <gasps> you don't mind. <laughs> do you, Uncle Luca? Here we go. She's been waiting for this moment, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Chia, go get ready for bed, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I guess she can go. I was stuffed in Arkham State Hospital, convicted of murdering seven women. Okay, all right. You're gonna be quiet. Yes. <laughs> I was genuinely surprised at how many of you wrote letters telling the judge that I was mentally ill. I trusted you. I loved you. Damn. Yet not one of you tried to help me. Mm -mm. And you know, the real thorn in my side is that unlike everyone here, I was innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't fit into this family anymore. Just gotta get rid of the family. You gotta get rid of the family. That's exactly it. To nope, she didn't drink any beginnings. of that glass. It should have been more full. Who cares about continuity? <laughs> <laughs> Continuity, schmontinuity, it's all right. Oh, is that her and her brother? Yeah. I would, well, I hope so. Mm. Or it's just the stock photo that came with the frame. Oh, the scars. Yeah, I agree with you a thousand percent. She needs an Emmy nomination off of this. Absolutely. Like, she's destroying it. She's stealing the show from the Penguin, I'm not going to lie. I, it's all a Trojan horse. <laughs> it's just oh, yeah, a, I'm like, what did she do? Did she, did she poison the... Uh-oh, does the house about to burn down? Can we get the little girl out before before you take it out? Are you ready for some cake? Oh, there you go, there you go. I told you! Look at you calling it. Would you like some more? I should go to bed. You should gotta sugar her up until she falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sugar up, She unless she drugged the cake. Well, sugar, like, you know, and then you, you have a... A sugar crash? A sugar crash. My mom told me not to talk to you. She said you did bad things. Hmm. I did do bad things. Today. My father locked me away in a dungeon with a bunch of scary monsters, and I had to fight them to survive. That's terminology she can understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she broke that down really well. I'm going to make sure yeah, she's got that you back. never have to fight any monsters. Mm. This is interesting. Because mm -hmm. she sees herself in that little girl. For sure. Is the house gassed? Maybe. I guess we didn't see a fire. Maybe she poisoned the food. I was wondering. But she ate the yeah, meatball. She, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Because I thought about that first. Is that a mask? Oh, it uh. is. You were right. She gassed up. Farewell. Damn. She took everybody out at once. Everybody. I told you. Oh. Oh, gas. Yep. That's going to take a while to clear out. <laughs> they literally made a monster. I mean, she is her father's daughter. This is very efficient. So well done. Are we going to see Uncle Luca last? Vidi or Uncle? She's verifying all the deaths. Yep. And cleaning out the house of all that gas. That it was a it was a gas leak. Is this Vidi? What? Oh, she opened his window. Oh, gotcha. Oh, no, it is him. Yep. I told you she opened his window. Put your pants on, Johnny. We need to talk. Don't end here. Don't end here. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That was amazing. That was so good. Like, every single episode. What a wonderful show. That was uh, brilliant. Yeah. Usually, most episodes have a slump. They have, like, by the time you get to episode four or five, you have a basic filler episode. It's just a middle episode. It's neither here nor there. It just happens to you. Mm -hmm. They have not had a slump. Not yet. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Her acting is so phenomenal. Oh, my God. Um, she... Like Let's she just get the ballots now. Yeah. I'm ready to sign. Well, she really is. A, I mean, I really does feel like a Trojan horse in a way because like we showed up for Colin Farrell and as the penguin and we're, now we're staying because of her. It's kind of what it feels like. Like both of their performances are obviously amazing, but she is just, um, I don't know, man. Like he was barely even in this episode. He was barely in this episode. You like, get, you're going to have that sometimes. And no, I know, yeah. but I'm not 
complaining. I love him and I love his work and I love what he's doing with this role, but I didn't miss him. Oh, yeah, because really, I mean, what they had was so captivating with her. It was her. Yeah. so captivating. And, and you know, and I, I know I mentioned this before, like I saw the cast at Comic-Con and the director said something. He was like, the work that um, Christina Milotti, I think that's her last name, Milotti. I think so. The work I'll that she check. does is absolutely... Milotti. Milotti, yeah. yeah. What she does is just phenomenal. And, you know, she really was kind of humble and just like really thanked him. But now I understand why. <laughs> He meant like. Yeah, well, you don't know when you're at Comic Con. You it's like no, he could just be fluffing it up for the right, sake of ex- selling the show. Exactly. Yeah. And I thought like you know like he's really like you know, um, giving her her flowers. You know, I was assuming her character got killed like early on, mm. and woo wee. I yeah. did not know. The one of the things you remarked about that I was enjoying along the show is the way it was shot and edited and all that stuff. Like the the storytelling from like if you just if you someone way back when told me like try watching something without the audio and see how it affects you and that's that's the real mark of good storytelling because it's a visual medium right now you know it's setting aside stuff like tarantino dialogue that you obviously can't get from you know watching something silent you can watch this silent and you'll still know exactly what's going on it's visually very striking very clear you know no pun intended because of all the like lack of clarity right, and right, right, right. but yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. it's all very clear what's going on from a visual perspective so if you just mute it and watch it again it's like you'll understand and you might it'll hit you all the same um, obviously the sound and all of the music and everything really enhance, enhances it um but i love that just visually it's so stimulating in a like mentally and everything like that it hits you hard and you feel so much empathy for this character because you realize you know when you met her you were just like oh she's a bad bitch and that's that but then you, you go in deep and you realize oh that's not actually who she was she was exactly. forced to be that person she became like they, they literally we literally watched her they dr frankenstein her into this igor into this like this character that she had ne- she never would have become before yeah it's like to find the depths of that inside of her in order to survive yeah and there were so many things like little nuances even like the color dress that she chose like the yellow like yellow is traditionally like a friendship color Mm -hmm. it's the color that like i come bearing gifts you Mm -hmm. know and she comes to the dinner just totally neutral even like the shots like i you know i mentioned like her mom like the first thing we saw was her feet and yet in the end like you see her walking just the shots of her feet as she's just walking like gliding in a way like so free and this is something that we've never seen this character in this way before but like like even like you called it when you were like is she gonna gas them because like she opened the window and left that one window open and i was like is she gonna get the little girl or is that the little girl's room you know and who do we see coming down the stairs with some cake yeah <laughs> little Gigi. yeah you know i i saw an interview with colin farrell and her not an interview but like a reaction video i didn't watch the whole thing but just like part of it. It was a reaction video of them watching The Penguin. Um, the scene from last week's episode towards the end when like, when he was like, you know, having a one-on-one with her and getting mm-hmm. emotional. And what was remarkable to me was seeing Colin Farrell without all that stuff on and like, that's the same dude? Watching? How is that the same guy? You know, because you watch him as him and then you see the Penguin character and they're side by side with each other and it's like, and that's not the same totally person. different people. That's not the same dude at all. Just like not even remotely in the same universe. It's like, crazy. Even even to the extent like Colin Farrell, like, you know, he, he's a good looking dude, but he's like, I never imagined they make the penguin look so tall. Mm-hmm. Like they make him look so like larger than life in yeah, a way. Yeah. And and I love what they you know, like how they're creating this this shadow of him, like how he's literally this entity almost. Mm-hmm. And just seeing who he was yeah, before, yeah. like in those before moments, I really do not think that he thought her father would send her away. Right. I really, I don't know how you would see that coming. I mean, you know, he, he doesn't have kids that he knows of. At this, I don't, I mean, I don't know if he has kids. But would you ever think that somebody would sacrifice their daughter like that? No, but I don't know the penguin sometimes because like you, you just don't know. Outside of his mom, I don't know who he actually protects. Who he actually, who he, you know, actually guards. Oh, he wasn't, you're right. You know he what I mean? He was not guarding her. He yeah. was trying to get a leg up. I mean, you saw the change in suit. Like, she even acknowledged it. Like, you're dressed differently. Like, you went from being my driver. Like, who are you now? What is happening right. here? And she knew, like, you called it. She knew the minute she walked in, he said, your father wants to see you. There was something in the way that he said that. That right. she knew that he had told her father that she saw the reporter. Right. But I, I think he did that in order to make 
get a step up. The shots that they did there was was perfect because like you got her looking back and then him looking and he's distant from the camera, which represents the, her distance from just like everything because mm-hmm. she's going to get more and more distant from everything because mm-hmm. she's going to Arkham. This is my favorite episode so far. And it's unfortunate that the Penguin is in this the least because it's to me, it's the best episode. It just, is. It's, it's it, just, it, it really is. Yeah. Like, like even the music, it didn't need words. That last scene, like it was beautiful with her and the little girl, like her protecting the little girl the way no one protected her in the greenhouse, you know, and she talked to her at the little girl's level. Right. Where does that go, though? Because she murdered the little girl's mom. Well, she's not going to tell the little girl that. Like, I mean, she's probably going to she's going to tell what everybody else knows. Mm. There was a gas leak. Gotcha. It's a good thing I took you out to the greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing we stayed. Yeah, yeah. That's a a, a eighty year old woman in the deathbed confession. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I, I feel like they definitely borrowed some nuances from Requiem for th- for that stuff. Or maybe I've only watched it the one time. But well, I only watched Requiem once as well. But uh, I don't remember Clockwork the, all that well. I only watched it once. Clockwork Orange. Yeah, Clockwork Orange. But I only like, saw it once too. But uh. the music cues sounded like something straight out of Requiem. Just like the very violent uh, violin strings and how it it agitates you. You know, it's like it's very unsettling to listen to. But it's like it puts you in the driver's seat of the main of the main character of this episode. You're like she's feeling that uh, uh, agitation. Like, you know, all that time she spent in Arkham. All that, like I, like you, like I had so much anxiety. Like I was so uncomfortable, worried for her. Yeah. Like the devastation, the atrocities mm. that happened to her. Even in just that, like you know, that opening sequence, the sequence Every, when she uh, goes yeah, in yeah. there, and the things that they were just aggressively doing. And I, you know, like I've never been to a mental institution, or you know what I mean. Like, but like, oh, really? <laughs> look at him. <laughs> He's about to sign me up. Listen. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, well, this, I, I, it was new. That in, that was new for me. Like to see that was very jarring. The, all that stuff it was put together so well because of like the sharp editing, the the shots of what they were focused on, her acting, and the music. It's like that edgy music. All of it together is like you're feeling exactly what she's feeling. It feels like you're going through it too. Yeah. You know, and you see the tools and what they're doing, and it's like while they're not showing all of it to you, you still feel all of it. It's very effective. Like, I, I really appreciated that where, where they decided what to show you and what not to show you. And it was, both were effective. You know, they both made you feel things. Yeah, like the girl in the fork. Yeah, exactly. The whole scenario of like being in that mess hall and you're seeing all the doctors and the cops and she's got the fork in her hand. It's like, we all kind of know where it's going and, and what's about to happen. I didn't see it coming that the girl would be like, please, like, just... Like, just set me free. Yeah, just set me free. I didn't see that coming at all. I thought I th- didn't either. Yeah, because I thought that girl was sort of the, the prison who the prisoner who's in control the of the situation. The, yeah. yeah, but, like, that wasn't the situation. She was put into that situation by the powers that be and she saw that as her exit and i'm sure she you know like we don't even know how long who that who that was how long she had been there right and like everything in that that arkham because it was a different side of arkham because Mm -hmm. you really only see like certain cells and excuse me whenever they show arkham it's usually like either poison ivy harley quinn or the joker or somebody and it's it's like quick shits quick shots and then it's quick shits (laughs) I knew, I knew you were going to let that go. Quick shots, quick shots. I can speak. But it's like usually the outside and it's always so dark and mm-hmm. edgy. But this, even the mess hall, the light that was coming in, it was almost like seeing her hope. You know what I mean? And then watching it turn yeah. when she realized Magpie was like, had been singing like a canary, telling yeah. on her. To get the candy. To get the candy. And I knew she was getting a tray to the face. The... <laughs> The uh, like, I apologize for all of the references and stuff. Like the candy immediately reminded me of um, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. So I was trying to connect whatever dots there might be that inspired the filmmaker in the writing of this episode. The only thing I've ever seen with that kind of visceral torture was Requiem with uh, Ellen Bernstein. Is that her name? Um, the the main woman from that movie. She they torture her in that movie, and it's like it feels like you're being tortured. <laughs> Um, if you haven't seen Requiem for a Dream, I recommend watching it once and only once and you'll never forget it. Yeah, I think my brain shut down on that because yeah. I literally slept through because I was so over. I don't know how you sleep through that. Jesus. No, because, because whenever my brain gets overstimulated, like it literally just like, nope, you're done. 
you're going to sleep now. Yeah, and <laughs> it's Ellen Bernstein. Yeah, uh, she's she was she was phenomenal in that. She's phenomenal in yeah. everything. It was I just mean, so powerful. That's the word I'm looking for. It, it, it was, was a oh powerful God. episode that hit you, and it's like, and it didn't pull its punches. Like, yeah, and like I was lit. We were literally riveted the yeah. entire episode. Like, that's that's not it. That's not it, right? I didn't want it to end. Obviously, they left you at a good cliffhanger. It was perfect. Yeah, because now I want to know what's coming for Oz. That's a great question. This is they did something here that I do see in in TV shows a lot, where it's like it's got this momentum going, and and they're like it's got you on this cliffhanger. It's like, eh, hold on for another episode. We're gonna go back, and now we're gonna explain some stuff. So I was initially a, a bit frustrated because uh, I was like. I want to know what's going to happen with these char- these characters. But like learning all of her backstory was worth the wait of, yes. of, of, the, of that plot. You know what I mean? We all wanted to know, like, how did you get that name? And it's like, it's not even her name. She didn't do all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's just crazy. I didn't even think we were going to get all that. I really just thought they were going to explain like who actually was the hangman. They peeled it like like layers, like an onion. You know what I mean? Like, because like you said, like they introduced her and you just know her as this like incredible powerful like dynamic character that you're like wow there is so much going on underneath her eyes and uh, like her mannerisms and the things that she's not saying there's so much going on there and then to see who she was before and understand who she is now right and honestly there was almost a third transition because even before like when she got out, she was just kind of like trying to figure out who I am. What am I going to do? How am I going to make my mark? Mm-hmm. I don't think she transitioned into wanting to even become like the hangman, like her father, until she realized what actually happened. That Oz turned on her a second time. Like I almost did it again. Yeah. yeah. I almost trusted somebody else who almost got me killed. Like literally. Yeah. Nah, we ain't going, I'm not going out like that. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody had to go. I, I, I really thought she was going to kill the doctor. Mark Strong was amazing. Um, phenomenal yeah. work in this episode, man. Yeah. He, he does such a good job of like control, of, of making you feel things without doing too much. I've always loved that about him. You probably saw him in Shazam, the, the first mm-hmm. Shazam. He was in the, it, but like, I think the first time I ever saw him was he did a role that you probably can't do anymore. Like you can't get away with it because he's white. I think he was playing an Arab, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I was convinced. I was really convinced. It was a movie with Russell Crowe and Leonardo DiCaprio. The wrong names are popping in my head, but it was directed by Ridley Scott. I can't remember the name, but I love that movie. Not love it. I really, really enjoyed that movie because <laughs> love is a strong word. Body of Lies. It's a fun, fun movie. It's a spy film. And so Leonardo DiCaprio does a great job in it. Um, and Mark Strong does a great job. And that's how, I feel like that's how I learned about him. Every time he showed up, I would get excited because he, he does such a phenomenal job. And like here, he did not disappoint at all. Like he does this thing where he's just like looking at her and you see so much going on. Like, damn it. Like, now I got to put you in Arkham. And he didn't say that, but you can see it. Well, because he knows that she's his equal. Right. She's the only one that he was willing to trust with the family. She's the smartest of them all. Right. She was, he was about to break tradition for her and give her the keys to the kingdom. For me, his performance was all about his stillness. Exactly. His, I mean, it's just intimidating when someone doesn't move. Yeah. And they're not even reactive. Like there's nothing happening on his face, but you can see everything turning. Exactly. And the reason, you know, I talked about the sunglasses, like the re- he, it's literally him playing a constant game of poker, yeah. like him not wanting anybody to see what's going on behind his like glasses or in what he's thinking. Yeah. So even as the little girl, when she pulled his glasses down to like really see him mm-hmm. and see like what she had, you know, just witnessed with her mom, like, it made you wonder, like, like he just came in nonchalantly, but like, was surprised? To, was he surprised to see her there? Did he want the little girl to find the mom like that? Like, what do we think? Oh gosh, I haven't thought. I didn't. Th- I was wondering about that while watching it. I'm. You said hey, like four different things all at once. So <laughs> like, sorry. Wait. Um. Yeah. I. I don't know if he. If he intended that, he must have because he. No, he. He must have intended that. Like he, because the girl finds it. It's part of the alibi. No, he. He intended that. Okay. Yeah. Like everybody, like. But I, the, but I think the stillness that you think you're talking about is absolutely what I love about him. He's just so, he's very strong in his performances. If like he's definitely on my short list. If I ever, you know, get my choice of, of actors, I get to direct. You know, someday he was definitely on the list of like, yo, here you, you just, I'll just point the camera at you. You do yeah. it. Go, let's see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do, and it's just like, 
think the best part about this series is that every single episode has me thinking. Yeah. Thinking and like recreate, like remembering what I saw and what happened. And it's like, it's literally like fireworks are going off in my head because I'm so excited. Like, it's been a really long time. <laughs> the show has made me really like invested mm -hmm. and thinking like about every single nuance that the, the, that the you know like the filmmaker wanted us to either receive or I could totally be reading into a bunch of stuff that you know Here, here's what's crazy is I am enjoying this more than the Batman me too that's what's crazy me like, too I'm enjoying it more than the thing it was spawned off of that's nuts because uh, we didn't have her. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Batman a lot, and I'm enjoying this even more. It's like, it's crazy that it's able to elevate beyond. And I'm very curious to see how, if this just sort of stays as its own separate thing, or if they somehow kind of like ties in in the next Batman installment. But, you know, who and knows? And like, I want to know, what is her villain name? Mm. I want to know if she's going to become like, you know what I mean? Like, because this is a better backstory than any villain I think we've really been given. Mm -hmm. And I don't even necessarily know that I call her a villain. I, I really think she might be an anti-hero, but like an anti-hero. She's anti -hero. an anti-hero. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. She's but an anti-hero. Like, if even still, like she has the best backstory of anybody in the DC universe right now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Harley Quinn has a great story in the comics, but it's never really been told properly. And I didn't see the Joker too. I found myself rooting for her and I'm still rooting for her. And she better live because I need her character to like take over. Yeah, this is fascinating to me. And I hope whatever this universe is goes far because DC needs it. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> like, I didn't see it coming that the Batman, Robert Pattinson, ba Batman, I didn't see it coming that like maybe that would be able to expand into something greater that um, we can continue to enjoy through many different iterations and spinoffs and blah, 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 as a long running franchise. Didn't see that coming. I think that maybe I was still coming off of like the Zack Snyder verse thing, you know, and all that and seeing where that was going. And then now we got James Gunn's. I, we have yet to see where that really goes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm definitely excited about this and the future of it thus far. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Courtney Scott Wright. Peace out.